everybody welcome back to the channel today we have a 2016 mazda cx5 with a 2.5 liter today we're going to be doing a rear brake job replacing pads and rotors the rear calipers has the electronic parking brake built into the caliper so we'll show you how to deactivate it and put it in service mode let's get into it to put the vehicle in maintenance mode with the key on without the engine running hold down the accelerator all the way to the floor and then push the park brake, park brake switch down while holding that down and the accelerator up fully to the floor push the start stop button three times you will hear the rear brake caliper motors run for about four to five seconds and then you'll have the yellow park light on indicating you're in maintenance mode with our parking brake deactivated we're going to go ahead and disconnect the electrical connector to the parking brake motor there will the two 14 millimeter caliper slide bolts. We'll take those off and we'll set the caliper aside. With our caliper removed and just sitting on top of the rotor, we're just going to push the piston back in. I know it has the slotted style uh, caliper pistons, but you don't have to twist this one back in. You can just slowly press it in. The part's done. We'll remove the brake caliper. There's two 14 millimeter bolts. You can take the pads out if you want or you can leave them in and take them out together. Okay, caliper bracket is off. And then we're gonna remove the rotor. They're usually stuck on there, but a little hammer action. Hammer time. It's loose. Now, if you're up north, I'm sorry, it's usually not that easy. With your rotor removed, you can clean your hub surface here. You can use a brush, a little, Ziz wheel side grinder, clean it up, get any little rust deposit on there. Hub surface is clean and just the rotor slides back on. You can clean the, where the brake pads sit right here. Um, to grease or not to grease or to lube. Um, I put anti seize here um, just to help uh, prevent any squealing. And then I use a caliper slide grease on the slide pins. I do not use anti seize here because it thickens up and it can cause this stuff to to stick and cause uneven pad wear okay we're going to prepare the brake pads i like to put any seeds on the back of the pads here uh, you, you know that's that's a personal choice not that there's anything wrong with that but i also i install the the shims down in the bottom so that's the first point of contact to help uh make as much noise as possible when they come into use. Okay, we've got our pads in place and we can take our caliper. Everything's tight, plugged in. We'll put our wheel back on and the other side is the exact same way. Uh, then we'll have to uh, get the vehicle out of maintenance mode for the brake service. So we got our wheels back on, the vehicle on the ground. Um, go ahead and pump up your brake pedal. It just should be like three or four pumps and it should be good uh, before taking it out of uh, maintenance mode for the parking brake. To get it out of maintenance mode it's the same procedure except you have to hold up on the parking brake switch. So with the key on hold the gas pedal to the floor pull up on the park brake switch while holding up on the park brake switch push the start stop button three times. You'll hear the motors run again for about four to five seconds and the park light will be off. Not a bad idea to check the fluid level after repair. So, brake fluid level is good. Well, that wraps up another one. Uh, this is actually just uh, pretty much a basic brake job. Uh, the main difference is the electronic calipers. Uh, Mazda made it pretty easy because you don't need a scan tool. Um, I did try connecting my Snap-on scan tool in my Autel. Uh, there was no function to do it with a scan tool. It all has to be done in the car. So, well, if you like what you saw today, you know, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's not, why is that going out?